Hi everyone, I am making an updated tutorial for the SUFA 3.9 version since there are some changes with the 4K cockpit textures. This particular video will be unscripted. I try my best. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please leave a like and consider subscribing if i miss something please let me know maybe i can get that corrected for the next tutorial when this mod is updated all right so i have all the zip files extracted let's just pretend like this is just some random folder right here right this folder has nothing to do with dcs it's just where we uninstall and extract it basically we extracted all the files so let's go here to the super folder we're gonna take this and we're gonna copy this directly in here we're just going to copy over all the files okay and this folder here we're going to point ovgme that's the tool i use i already have it pointed to this custom mods folder but here we go like i just copied those in there it already knows it's in there and i have dcs installed right here like I'm using Steam, but standalone, I imagine it'd just be like whatever drive you have it, then DCS. All right, so this is a base DCS folder we're overriding, not the save games folder, the base DCS folder, because this mod, it overwrites core files. So that's why we don't want save games. I've seen a lot of confusion with that. So I want to make sure I address that now. Now that I have experience, a lot of experience, like talking to people in Discord, like helping out, trying to help out people. Okay, so we have all our weapons and everything in there at this point. All right, there's one last thing we want to do though, because the mod in 3.9, it was changed so by default it's using the 2k cockpit textures but a lot of people you're going to want the 4k so what we're going to do is i'm going to take this i'm going to copy that we're going to paste it so now we have everything we should have everything okay so at this point what i like to do is we're going to enable it and that's the nice thing about this tool it's a mod manager i use ovgme but there's another one there's other mod managers this is just the one i use yeah we got to make sure we turn on the sounds i think i uploaded one video where i didn't have the sounds now I, I think uh, people commented on that of course <laughs> and we're gonna install that and check this out we're gonna install one of the weapons Okay, this is something else I've seen people talk about. Like, oh, what is what is this warning? Is it bad? It's just telling you that this mod is going to update the SUFA Lua file, which is like a script file. Lua is like a programming language that DCS uses. Now, there are some mods that conflict with each other. I mean, so sorry. Some weapons that conflict with each other. You can't just install all of them. Like, some, you have to, some of them, there's a list and a fact so go to the discord channel i'll try and list out the conflicts in this video but i'd rather you point you towards the discord because that way if there's a future update to this mod i don't know maybe maybe they'll work something out i don't know but maybe i think this is always going to be a thing because the way these weapons work is overriding the base dcs weapon i hope i'm being clear here like they're changing the base DCS weapon to another one. So that's why the like certain ones conflict with each other. All right, I think that's pretty much it. We have everything installed. We have the 4K cockpit textures, the SUFA, base SUFA mod, and you can see the order. And what I, what I like to do too, I'm gonna cover this, like, like let's say we're going on a server where they have IC check enable integrity check that's what ic stands for integrity check so if you go on a server you know you're about to go online and the server has ic enabled then you're going to want to disable the mod and it's just that easy to disable it and it's already uninstalled everything that's why i like using a mod manager all right that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it hope it was clear and explained everything all right
That's it. Bye.